Hey guys, welcome back to Kingdom Hearts. So today we're actually going to start the exciting part of Kingdom Hearts. We're in Traverse Town, which is, in my opinion, the first real world, because you actually have, well, stuff in this world that's not in Destiny Islands. Destiny Islands is kind of its own thing. Seeing all of the town will take some time, Koopo, especially for newcomers. Even if you can't go to certain areas now, you'll be able to go later. Those candles burning over there were especially created by Moogles. Even if you snuff out one, it flickers back to life in no time. You'd probably need magic to put them all out. So then there are these little spots on the ground. Keep in mind where these are, we can't do anything with them yet. There's an item shop here, but we don't have any money. This town is divided into three districts. This is the first district. Mailbox, send 10 postcards to win something. Good luck. There are 10 postcards scattered throughout Traverse Town. So if you can find them, every time you mail one, you get a small prize. Getting them all gives you a bigger prize. I don't think I've ever actually done that before, though. Okay, I want to check something. For configuration, camera... Okay. I was wondering if you could use the right stick to, use, to control the camera, but nope. This is the item workshop, Koopo. We're researching item synthesis and super weapon forging. That's closed for a while. That door leads to the second district. Beyond that lies the third district. Looks like it's locked. It's not like we've got a key on us. Oh, wait. We can come back there later. Alright, let's actually start the world. We're going to the second district. That's disconcerting. It's those creatures from the island! And now they drop money. Spelled the way Pooh Bear would spell it. Which is a nice touch. Oh yeah, level up. We're getting so many level ups because I chose. I'm afraid of, like, being different. That's why I'm getting so many level ups. How dare you. Also, try to collect as much money as you can, because money's quite valuable at the beginning. So there's a chest up there, but we can't reach it. Out of here. And no, these are not the only enemies in the game. Trust me, you'll see a lot more soon. Also, notice we're in hardly, I'm hardly taking any damage from these enemies. That's the shield working. Ooh! Sometimes enemies will drop like uh, items like that upon their defeat, so I picked up a Lucid Shard. That's a synthesis material. We might use it later on in the game. Also, I think you only have to kill, like, five enemies in order to progress the story. Just go back to the first district after you kill a few enemies. However, we're gonna explore town a bit more. Ooh, sometimes they also drop, uh, re restoration items like potions. Potions right now are the only way we can actually refill our HP, so... I should probably... Oh, sweet, I got three potions equipped already. And this is the Dalmatian's house. Not here, either. This could take a while. I am terrible at doing a Donald Duck impersonation. The 99 puppies were lost amid the chaos of the world's destruction. Find them in various worlds. Ha, ah, yeah. Poor Pongo and Perdita. So throughout the world, there will be chests with, like, sets of three Dalmatians in them. 
Every time you rescue a certain amount, you'll get rewards from the Dalmatians. And if you rescue them all, you'll get a really big reward. All in all, their final reward's really not all that useful. Because by the time you get... Literally, by the time you get the rewards... Oh, well, um... I don't need that anymore. But it's still fairly cool. I will probably not be going after this, since this game is long enough as is. Alright. I've already fought those guys before. Let's go to the alleyway. Leon, Master Leon! Where are you? I'm sorry, Mr. Leon, not Master. Nice little alleyway here. These guys are really easy to kill, but like when they go under uh, ground like that, you can't hurt them, which can be a bit annoying. Treasure chest back here. We get a potion. Potions are so useful at the beginning of the game. Once we get a certain magic spell, though, like, we really won't use potions anymore. Take this. I like how it still plays the awesome Heartless music. Alright. Caution. Wet floor. I don't think you need a, a sign that says that. Sora, can't you read the sign? It said it was wet. All this is uh, this leads to the Dalmatian's house as well. But anyways, that's enough fighting enemies. Let's go back to the first district. But we can explore up here first. Currently closed off, but there's a chest up here. If we can get the platforming to work for us. Another potion. There are a lot of parts of Traverse Town that are currently closed off. They'll get opened again soon. Or they'll get opened soon. Oh! I want that chest. <laughs> yeah, I'll try not to rag on the game's platforming too much, because it's like... Yeah, it's not great, but it's like... It could be far worse. And we get the pretty stone. Actually, yeah. Pretty stone. It has little value. Oh, okay. I couldn't remember if that was a synthesis item or not. Alright, since I've already fought these guys, I'm just gonna... Kingdom Hearts is one of those games where it's like, yeah, fighting every enemy, you'll be very high level, but it's not necessary by any means. Especially since the enemies respawn very frequently, especially in this first world. And now they're in the first district as well. In your face. So now with the money we have, we could go to the item shop to buy some potions, but we've got enough of those, so I'm actually going to go to the accessory shop, where Sid is, and he can sell us some equipment. That'll give us uh, extra defense. And I never say no to extra defense. Ha! 
Ooh. So, item shop there. Accessory shop, here's what I want. Still haven't found him. Keep your chin up, take another look around town. I'm here to shop. Alright. Oh, I can't actually afford anything. So we've got the protect chain, slightly raises defense. Fire rain, slightly raises defense and reduces fire damage by 20%. Blizzard re uh, rain reduces ice damage by 20%. And yeah, you get the idea. And then the ability stud, which slightly raises max AP. AP! Uh, we don't, we can't even use that yet. Ooh. Chest. Now we get the Mithril Shard. That's a rare synthesis item. They'll come at you out of nowhere. Who are you? And they'll keep on coming at you. As long as you continue to wield the Keyblade. But why? Why would it choose a kid like you? Hey! What's that supposed to mean? Never mind. Now, let's see that Keyblade. What? There's no way you're getting this. All right. Then have it your way. Mini boss time. If you die against him, like it's not game over. That said, you can beat him and you get an item for it, so. And also, can I just say this guy's weapon is amazing. It's a sword and a gun thrown into one. Okay, I don't I don't care enough about winning to use an item, because we just get a slightly better item. Hey, you found it. Nice going, Leon. Still. It looks like things are worse than we thought. A lot worse. Yeah, if you do win that battle, Sora will just collapse from exhaustion, and then you'll get an elixir from the girl. Oh, there's nobody here. Sure is spooky. Girl, I'm not scared. Excuse me. Did the king send you? I don't know who any of these people are. I didn't play Final Fantasy VII. Come on, lazy bum. Wake up. You okay? Uh, I guess. Those creatures that attacked you are after the Keyblade. But it's your heart they really want. Because you wield the Keyblade. I'm so glad that you're okay, Kyrie. Kyrie? Who are you talking about? I'm the great ninja Yuffie. Hmm? Too close. I think you might have overdone it, Squall. That's Leon. His name's Leon, not it's Squall. Deep, Get it right. Yeah. We had to get it away from you to shake off those creatures. It turns out, that's how they were tracking you. Well, I mean, it the keyboard's in my room market. right next to me. They're still gonna find me. It won't me. work for long. Still, hard to believe that you, of all people, are the chosen one. Oh. Well, I suppose beggars can't be choosers. Why don't you start making sense? What's going on here? Okay, you know there are many other worlds out there, besides your castle in this town, right? Yeah. But they're supposed to be a secret. They've been secret, because they've never been connected. Until now. When the Heartless came, everything changed. The Heartless? The ones who attacked you, you remember? Those without hearts. The darkness in people's hearts. That's what attracts them. And there is darkness within every heart. Hey, have you heard of someone named Ansem? I am Sam? He was studying the Heartless. He recorded all of his findings in a very detailed report. Gorge! Oh, can we see it? Its pages are scattered everywhere. Scattered! Too many worlds. Oh, 
Then maybe the king went to find them. Yes, those were my thoughts exactly. We've got to find him quick. Wrong. That's right. The keyblade. So, this is the key. Exactly. The Heartless have great fear of the keyblade. That's why they'll keep coming after you, no matter what. Well, I didn't ask for this. The keyblade chooses its master, and it chose you. So, tough luck. How did all this happen? I remember being in my room. <gasps> Wait a minute! What happened to my home? My island? Riku! Kairi! You know what? I really don't know. Okay, so... Besides that plot dump right there... Something that they just blatantly lie about, they're like, yeah, heartless, they're creatures without hearts. They're not. Heartless are creatures that have hearts, believe it or not. It's just like, I feel like it's like... They don't really do a good job of explaining it, because it's like, yeah, in like the first game, it's like, oh yeah, heartless, they don't have hearts. But then in future games, it's like, oh wait, actually no, the heartless are creatures that have hearts. It's like when people lose their hearts, the, their heart becomes a heartless. And then like, the things that should be called heartless are called something else. It's just very confusing. So, for all, in terms, for all purposes in this game, sure, something without a heart is a heartless. I heard that Keyblade can open all sorts of locks. Give it a try the next time you find a treasure chest or door lock. Wait a second, hang on. Do we actually get the item regardless of if we beat Leon or not? We do! Okay, we get the elixir. It gives you full HP and MP. <sighs> Alright, that's weird. But yeah, the plot gets very confusing. And we're in this... Oh, whoa, you can look at the pictures? Mid-A Jungle. Bald Mountain, 7 a.m. Really? <laughs> We've got a picture of Bald Mountain in here? Sooner or later, the Heartless will find you. You'd best prepare yourself. Prepare myself to fight for your life. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yuffie, let's join Yerith. There She should be there by now with the other visitors. Leon! Yuffie, go! Let's go. <laughs> yeah, this part's awesome. And hilarious. That's the thumbnail. That is going to be the thumbnail. <laughs> Don't bother with the small fry. Find the leader. Let's go. So we're about done with the world, so yeah, you heard him. You can fight Heartless here, kind of grind up a bit. But, to be perfectly honest, it's not really necessary. Also, these soldiers are tougher than the uh, shadows we fought earlier. Those are the official names, by the way. These guys are official names are soldiers. The little black guy's official name are shadows. Ooh. What shard is this? Spirit shard. So now we're fighting some new enemies. Sweet. Yeah, just after, I haven't played this game in a while. I've played several of the new ones more, much more recently. So now I'm just kind of going back. I'm like, wait a second, this doesn't make sense compared to what we learned in this game. Also, Yuffie, Yerif, and Beyond, they're originally from the Final Fantasy games. Final Fantasy VII, except Beyond is uh, Final Fantasy X, and his name in that is Squall. Hence the name confusion at that one part. Alright, that's enough grinding. I mainly just wanted the money. So, there's this little alleyway down here that we haven't explored yet. This leads to the third district, and that's where we need to go. Yep. 
Gorge, are these the heartless guys? Let's go get them! Well, that went well. Oh, we're trapped. This isn't good. But now we get our partners, Donald and Goofy. Goofy bashes enemies with his shield, and Donald's a magic user. Also, they have their own potions that they can use. But chances are they're just going to use them on each other. Because Donald has, like, no HP, pretty much. And now it's boss time! This is a pretty cool boss, in my opinion. It's the guard armor! So you need to attack his various body parts before you can go in for the, his main body. And also... Okay, I'm gonna use a potion on myself. He can, he's very powerful, so... Make sure you retreat from his attacks. Ow. Danny's powerful. Yes, Goofy, you can hear, is just using all of his potions on Donald and only Donald. Oh, man. You can parry his lunge attacks if you're good. Also, aerial combos are the way to go. Oh, man. Ow. Maybe I should have grinded a bit more. Oh boy. This is not good. One more hit and I'm dead, and Goofy used all of his potions already. Thanks, Goof. I knew he was going to do something like that. Yeah, do not underestimate the bosses in this. They are hard. Especially on the expert mode. Especially before you get any abilities at all. Well, that's our first game over. <laughs> yeah. I'm sensing a lot more of those in our future. My future, I guess I should say. And one unfortunate thing about Kingdom Hearts 1, you can't skip movie scenes. You just have to watch them over and over again. Gorge, are these the heartless guys? Let's go get them! It doesn't help that a lot of the tougher bosses in the game are preceded by rather annoying cutscenes. It also stinks how I can only carry three potions at a time now. At least, I can only use three potions in a given battle. Oh no. I get hit by one of these losers? That's just shameful. Thank you, Goofy, for using your potion on somebody who uh, will actually make good use of it. Wow, this is going terribly. One nice thing about the guard armor is when you kill his individual pieces, they drop a lot of HP, so... You do get, I think, full HP every time you destroy one of his body parts, so I'll just focus on one of those at a time, starting with his hands. His hands do that annoying tornado move, which catch you off guard. This one, yep. Ow. 
Ow. Ow. All right, now we run. Oh. At least Goofy's helping me out. Donald is just dead. Donald in general is just dead most of the time in this game. Ow, how do you even dodge that? I don't have block or dodge right now. Yay, HP. Goofy's doing a good job at killing its legs right now, which is good. Ow. Oh man, Goofy's dead. Your partners do come back to life after- Yeah, see, Donald's back to life now. Granted, he's got almost no HP. And he's got no MP. And Donald without MP is pretty much just useless. Alright, now we run! Thank you, Donald! Stop moving your fist around! There we go. Because Goofy severely weakened his feet, they're all like they're all about to die now. All right. Once you get to this stage, you're pretty much in the clear. If memory serves. Man, expert mode. No joke. There we go. Yes. First boss down. Mega Heart. And we get the Brave Warrior Chain. We can equip that on one of our characters now. After this movie uh, cutscene, of course. So you were looking for me? Mm-hmm. We've well, been stalking you. Been seeking the wielder of the Keyblade. Hey, why don't you come with us? We can go to other worlds on our vessel. I wonder if I could find Riku and Kairi. Of course. Are you sure? Who knows. But we need them to come with us to help us find the king. Sora, go with them. Especially if you want to find your friends. Am I the only one who thinks Yuffie's model is yeah, very off-putting in this? But you can't come along looking like that. Understand? Mm -hmm. No problem. No sacrifice. Okay? Yeah, you gotta look funny. Like us. <laughs> yep. Whoa. Yes, the ones on happy faces. And this is one of those many parts of Kingdom Hearts where it's like, yeah, this is not a great uh, script writing. I think derpy is the word I'm looking for. <laughs> That's one funny place. Okay, why not? I'll go with you guys. Goofy. <laughs> I'm Sora. All for one, one for all. I was about to say, all it takes is one cheesy smile to become best friends, but then again, we did just destroy a giant killer suit of armor together, so... I mean, that, that could probably pr play a role. That could be like a Harry, Ron, and Hermione kind of friendship right there. 
Oh, what do you know? Oh. That little squirt took down that heartless. Who'd have thought it? On expert mode. Such is the power of the Keyblade. The child's strength is not his own. Why don't we turn him into a heartless? <laughs> That'll settle things quick enough. And the brat friends of a king's lackeys. Swung on the eyes. They're all real traps by the look of them. You're no prize yourself. <laughs> Shut up. Enough. <laughs> the Keyblade has chosen him. Will it be he who conquers the darkness? Or will the darkness swallow him? Either way, he could be quite useful. Why is Maleficent always painted as like the most evil of all Disney villains? She might not even be on my top ten most evil villains list from Disney. <laughs> Chernabog! <laughs> Make sure you're prepared for the journey ahead of you. We don't know how far the Heartless have spread. Check out the shops here. They've got some pretty neat stuff. This is from all of us. And we get a hundred money! Yes, thank you. Spend it as you see fit. Good luck. Hope you find your friends. Look out for each other. Keep your spirits up. Thanks, Squall. The gummy ship is outside that gate! You can teleport to the gummy ship from save points. Open the save menu and select gummy ship. Not all save points let you board the sh gummy ship, though. The what? That's our ship! Wait till you see it! Hold on! Sora, this is for you! Attain the power fire, and we learn the f magic spell fire. Select magic to cast spells. To cast quickly, assign spells to shortcut buttons in the customize menu. Casting spells consumes MP. Using ethers or striking enemies replenishes MP. You can also get full MP from save points, and pick up MP balls from enemies drops. Now you can use magic, too! Goofy, give him that other thing! The what? You know! Oh, yeah. Goofy apparently teached us how to roll, because uh, apparently we didn't know how to roll. Activate abilities by equipping them. Some abilities are used by pressing square. Others work automatically. Equip them in the abilities menu. Activating them requires AP. Abilities allow you to do all sorts of things. Guess we should look for them along the way, huh? Okay, is that it? Let's get going. Not till we're ready. Well, I see big adventures coming their way. Looks like it's up to me to keep track of it all in my journal. Granted, the only use for my journal is for dumb little achievements and to make another game. Coded. Alright. So first things first, we're equipping the Brave Warrior. Slightly increases our max HP and strength. So if we look at the accessory thing on the right, makes our HP go up by 3 and our strength go up by 1. That's very good. So we're going to equip that to Sora. Donald's got his Mage's Staff, Goofy's got his Night Shield, Abilities, we gotta equip Dodge Roll, this lets us dodge attacks by rolling, we can press the square button, that'll really come in handy, Goofy learned Rocket, which lets him leap at an airborne enemy and attack with his shield, costs him 1 MP, might as well equip that. Customize, so right now the fire is set to the triangle button, that's fine, so basically if we hold uh, L1 now, it'll bring up our shortcuts menu. See, and then I can just press triangle right then and instantly cast fire. It's magic in this is really not that great, though, so... Let's see, now we've got gummy items as well. We got a lot of them from Donald and Goofy. Let's see, we only have two potions now, so I'll have to... Yeah, Donald and Goofy used all of them. Oh, yes! So now I'm going to take out two potions, put them in here. And also, a little high potion. We got two of those. Okay. And now we're gonna go to the item shop. Huey doing Louie's item shop, to be exact. Welcome! Are you looking to buy or maybe have something to sell? I'm here to shop. So, let's see. He sells potions and high potions. Ooh, potions are cheap. We also have several weapons for Donald and Goofy. We've got the Morning Star. It heightens magical power for Donald. There's one that reduces Donald's max MP but makes him more powerful. To be perfectly honest, though, Donald is literally all about his magic, so I don't know why you'd ever get that, but all right. Then Goofy, we've got a Smasher, which uh, increases his attack, and then the Stout Shield, which increases his defense. Um, 
really don't want to blow all of my money on a... Well, I'm going to buy Donald a new weapon. And then I'm going to buy some potions, so... I'll buy him through the stock. Trust me, you do not want to run out of potions, and you can't buy them in any world except Travers Town, so... There's that. Also, see that little mark on the ground? Hey, look at this mark! I wonder what it is. This is a trinity mark. They appear in many places. Only the blue ones react in the beginning. Sora, Donald, and Goofy can perform various trinity moves beside these marks. So if we select trinity... We'll do a giant, a giant jump, and this warps us up here for some reason. They do different veins, and now we can open this treasure chest. Gives us a postcard! You know what we do with postcards? Is that one first postcard? We get a cottage! So cottage is a special item, you can only use it from this menu. I'll show you if we go. Cottage fully restores the whole party's HP and MP. I, I need to use those more frequently. I really don't use those in my regular playthroughs. I'll try to use them more here. But anyways, that's where we're going to leave the episode off for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. You can see there's a green trinity mark on the ground there. We can't use that yet. Tune in for the next episode. We will go to the next world. Have a great day, and God bless.